Hey the nerds, Jimmy Palmquist here, and I am about to admit to something that I have never had the pleasure or opportunity to do in the past, I should say. Um, obviously we all know that DC went through another reboot with Rebirth, um, and I haven't, unlike DC uh, New 52, I haven't read all the books. I was gung-ho on that, trying to keep up, see what was going on. This time, I didn't do that, I didn't even come close. I did with Flash, that was cool. Uh, Aquaman, all right. Batman, definitely a step back from what it was with Scott Snyder. But the one I've really been uh, impressed and amazed with is, actually there's two, Superman and Action Comics. Thoroughly impressed with these books. I have never been a Superman fan. That's not to say I don't like Superman. I just have never read his comic books. Just never got into it. There's been ones here or there, like I was into Justice League, reading Justice League, and I'm like, oh, okay, let's see what's going on with Superman. And just was like, all right, well, I don't care about Superman. Um, now, mind you, I come from an era when, yes, I was there with the life and death of Superman, or the death and life of Superman, but I was also a part of, hey, we're gonna do red and blue Superman. And these things, I just didn't dig, and they weren't my, my bag. But this, I am totally loving, in that we have Superman from the original Superman, so to speak, in this new world where this world's, the new 52 Superman, has died. So this Superman is dealing with a whole bunch of issues such as why am I here? How how did this happen? I've got to protect my wife and kid, Lois and John, and not let the world know they exist, but I have this urge to help people and not see the world destroyed. Um, and I'm older than the DC, the New 52 Superman, so I know how to do things better. And then you add in this little, oh yeah, there's a Clark Kent. And it's like, what is going on? Not to mention his biggest enemy from his world, Lex Luthor, is still Lex Luthor. Now we don't know what his intentions are, but he's ostensibly a good guy and wants to protect Metropolis. So I am just enamored with these stories. Throw in the fact that you have a Doomsday storyline, and I absolutely love Doomsday, and especially the original um, appearance of Doomsday when he killed Superman. I just love Doomsday. I think that character is great, and he's just going to beat the crap out of Superman every time and destroy a lot of stuff. I'm just enamored with these storylines. I love where it's going. I can't keep up, but I'm trying. And I love that his son's there and his son is becoming Superboy. Oh, and I forgot to mention the fact that the Justice League doesn't totally trust this version of Superman yet. They don't know who he is and what his intentions are. So all these things going on, I just absolutely love these two books. I love the storylines that they're coming up with and I love how they made Superman relevant. And I think that was all the, always the problem. Jason Applegate, one of my good friends, nerds, has said one of the main problems with Superman is he's allergic to or scared of a green rock. <sighs> Who can relate? Well, they made him relatable and I think that's fantastic. I highly recommend you, if you have not, go back and start reading Action Comics and Superman with the Rebirth reboot. And if you're not, continue, because I want to know what you guys have to say. I am, these are probably my favorite books so far from DC. I hope they keep it up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.